As you can see, I'm a prolific breeder. But <laughs> apart from that, I'm also a successful and unsuccessful entrepreneur and small business person. I have been far more unsuccessful than successful, but I've had a couple of wins along the way. I worked at Facebook in Sydney for about three years, and then a year after that, I worked at Twitter. So it gave me a great understanding of how people communicate, how the world communicates, how people communicate with it, how expectations of communication are managed throughout lots and lots of people at the same time. I now speak for a living and I, I write and, and I adv advise and invest in tech startup mostly in Australia and around the world. So I deal with a lot of people who either come from a corporate background and have their own startup idea or someone who's just grown up with that fearlessness to be able to go and do their own thing. That's one side of me. This is also me. I am an addict. I have depression and anxiety. Sometimes that depression is so marked that I can't get out of bed for a day or a week. That I can't physically put my legs over the side of the bed and join the day. I have post-traumatic stress disorder from childhood trauma that's now 30 years old. And I take medication every day for that post-traumatic stress disorder. Otherwise, I have nightmares, horrible, harrowing nightmares every night. And you might wonder how both of those people live in the one body. How both of those entities, as human entities, live within the same brain. And the reason I can do that is A, I'm really good at acting, bullshitting my way through things. But B, I've come to accept the things that make me a little bit mad, as not as deterrents or things that are going to hold me back, but are things that are actually going to propel me forward. I will always doubt how useful I am to people, how interesting or creative I am, how clever I am, how wealthy I am, how poor I am. How, you know, I, I will always think that you think I'm something that I'm not, and I'll always try to be something that I'm not. That's, that's how I roll, right? And I think a lot of people who create for a living or who present or put themselves out there, whatever, a lot of people go through this, this imposter syndrome thing. But I reckon this is the secret weapon to whether you're in hospitality, whether you're in small business, big business, going forward from here, 2016, 17, 18, the one thing that you need in your business that you may or may not have at the moment is kindness. Because kindness underpins everything that's good in business today, and a lack of kindness underpins everything that's crap. If you're doing a 20 hour day, you have lost contact with people who need you. And you've mostly lost contact with yourself. You know, like, you can't run your business and forget your family and friends and forget yourself. Sure, you'll build a business and what for? Right? And I think the other thing about kindness, in business especially, is that you will never lose business by being kind. You'll only ever gain it. No one's ever going to complain about your business because it's so bloody kind in there. I wish they'd just been so, stop being so kind to me. They're driving me crazy. Kindness wins. And if I've inspired you even a little bit to do something different in your business or even just to include kindness in it, then I'll study. Thank you very, very much for your attention. I really appreciate it.